Central nervous system being represented by the brain and the spinal cord. Okay? You can see the gyri. Each one is gyrus. Each depression is called a sulcus. Look at the olfactory tract. This is the olfactory bulb. You can see the optic nerves. The optic nerves, they cross. The left goes to the right and right goes to the left. There is a crossing. That crossing, that point is called optic chiasma. Or uh, as part of your book, is called optic chiasm. C-H-I-A-S-M. There are other parts, and I'm not, I, I don't want to go over the different parts of brain today. That will be information overload. All right? But I'd like to point out about the peripheral nervous system here. You can see the Roman numerals here indicating the cranial nerves from 1 to 12. This is labeled here as 12 in Roman numeral. This is hypoglossal nerve. So if I pin this one and telling you to identify the nerve, that means this nerve is the hypoglossal nerve. Or here is number six. If I pin this one and if I ask you to identify this nerve, this nerve is abducens. Or here, number three, this is oculomotor, like that. The nerves that come out of the spinal cord, they are known as spinal nerves. Yeah? Incidentally, these spinal nerves are cervical nerves because these nerves come off the segments of the sp spinal cord that are cervical in the neck region. There are eight pairs. And then there are 12 pairs of ribs. In between ribs, other nerves called intercostal nerves. These are spinal nerves also. You can call it also a thoracic nerve. So each of these nerves is a spinal nerve, thoracic nerve, and intercostal nerve at the same time. You can name it differently. I have no problem. Okay? One structure, you should make a note, that spinal cord near the lumbar region, it becomes cone-shaped, conical. And this has a name called conus medullaris. So this is a special part of the spinal cord, conus medullaris. I want you to remember because I might ask you in the bonus question. And then you can see a bunch of nerves hanging here, like horsetail, and it has a name. These nerves are called, collectively called, corda equina, meaning horse tail. Corda meaning tail, equina is a equus or horse. So, 12 pairs of thoracic nerves, 5 pairs of lumbar nerves, five pairs of sacral nerves, and one pair of coccygeal nerve. So if you add them up, there are 31 pairs of spinal nerves, 12 pairs of cranial nerves. Another thing that, uh, if you, can you go to chapter 15 and figure 15.2? I don't know if you have that same one. Yeah. You have that? 15.2. Yeah, this one. Um, this, this is also brain and spinal cord, but on each side of the spinal cord, on each side of the vertebral column, you can see chain of ganglia. This. These are called sympathetic trunk ganglia or vertebral chain ganglia. So I want you to include this onto the bonus section. You may be tested on 
sympathetic trunk ganglion or vertebral chin ganglion. Okay. Do you have any question?